Persona 5 Tactica is here and yes, like Persona 5 Strikers, it has a different kind of gameplay. This time, like what the name suggests, Persona 5 Tactica focuses on tactics-based gameplay. Now, you're most likely here because you're a fan of Persona 5, but given that, there's a chance that you're not super familiar with tactics gameplay, as you probably fell in love with the turn-based style of gameplay of the mainline game. If that's causing you to struggle or you want to take your gameplay to the next level, then this video is is for you. The game does quite a good job of explaining the basics, so here I've compiled some advanced tips to help you kill it in the early game of Persona 5 Tactica, where you don't have a lot of money and skill points to go around. These tips, along with the footage you'll be seeing, is based from the hard difficulty of the game. Now, there's a lot to go through, so let's get started. My name is Rob from Ungeek, and here are seven advanced tips to dominate the Persona 5 Tactica early game. Number one, this is a personal choice and has always served me well in my playthrough, but always go for weapons with more range. In the shop, whenever weapons are available, you will usually have two options, one with more damage and one with more range. Range is the way to go. Range gives you more options in terms of positioning, dodging revengers, and more. It also lessens the times when you have to forfeit your turn because you don't have anything to do. Now, number two choose your party wisely. The party screen gives you important info on who can best fit the fight. Need to walk a lot to get into position? Morgana and Yusuke both have 7 movement. Is the fight right in front of you? Go for your bruisers like Haru and Makoto. Enemies bunched together? Pick those with huge AoE ranged attacks like Haru and Ryuji. Is it going to be a pure firefight? Get Akira and Yusuke for that increased gun damage passive. Certain characters will definitely make your life easier for certain situations. Number 3. Set your skills every round. Remember that skills are fully refundable, which means you can and should tailor fit your skills to the specific battle. Is this a big map where you have turns doing nothing like a reach the objective map? Then go learn your charge skills. Is there elevation? Yes, take your follow up skills. No, unlearn them and assign points elsewhere. Wanna go for some early kills cause the enemy is bunched together? Then maybe learn Skull's Automataru for that instant attack boost. Number 4, here are some skill recommendations to get you going. Weaker, medium area skills are better than stronger, small area skills, unless you're fighting bosses. Wide area spells mean you hit more enemies, which means more, one more opportunities for the rest of your party. Most of your points will usually go to the middle skill tree, while the rebellious resolve tree is more for getting skills cause you have some points left over. In general, don't bother with the second tier persona skills until much later because they cost a lot of SP, SP which you may not have. Lastly, you usually won't need healing especially if you're on the clock. Since awards usually ask you to get a mission done in as short a time as possible, every turn counts. And healing technically lets you forfeit a turn. If you really want healing, just equip a sub-persona who has it. Now tip number 5, fuse personas regularly. You will be gaining personas as battle rewards at times and it's definitely a waste to have to let go of some because you don't have space. Regularly fusing means 1. You're opening up your spaces. 2. You're trading up for better personas with ideally better stats and skills. And 3. You're prepping up yourself for better fusions later on. Just be smart with the personas you do have because summoning personas from the compendium is quite pricey. And during the early game, unless you farm, there is not much cash to go around. Number 6. Be smart with your personas each map. You can equip personas to make up for the skills that your party lacks. You need to freeze targets for safety and Yusuke isn't in your party? Get a persona with Bufu. Need more positioning power so you can get your foes bunched up together better? Garu Sweep and Phrase Vortex are great for that. It all sums up to being mindful of what the mission needs and getting personas to help make things easier, whether it's due to stat pluses that they give or the spells that they provide you with. And finally, the penultimate tip, abuse the one more follow up and all out systems. These are systems in the game that will let all the previous tips pay off and proper usage will let you end missions much earlier. Tip 1 to 6 
technically sets you up so you can abuse these three systems. The best case to aim for in general is for you to get your first character to set up as many enemies as possible to lose cover and or lose their resistances while remaining in a good position in the map. Once this is done, you use vulnerable enemies, those marked with the get em tag, to extend the movement of your two remaining characters via shooting them or casting spells at them. Remember to be very careful with your shots and spells as you can only get one more through follow-ups or by attacking vulnerable enemies, not downed enemies. So try to not get multiple vulnerable enemies if you're not in position yet. Now, in position for what? In position for the biggest all-out attack that you can possibly do. Get those three in like various corners of the map and there is no greater satisfaction than to pull off an almost map-wide all-out attack where you wipe almost all, if not all, of your enemies in one go. Remember that all-out attacks don't care about elevation as long as the enemy is within the triangle in any shape or form they are getting hit rinse lather and repeat and this is going to get you far and that is how you'll dominate the persona 5 tactica early game those are our tips we hope you find them useful. Let us know if there are tips that we missed or you think we missed. If there are enough, we're going to make a commenter's edition for this. Let us know in the comments. We hope this video lets you enjoy Persona 5 Tactica even more because we definitely are. This has been Rob from Ungeek. Until next time, keep on gaming.